I was I was taking selfies with the cat. <laughs> oh, the 21st century. Yeah. Oh, I hear that. Hello. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. I'm not going to look at the camera because that's what I do. I don't look at the camera. So uh, you had a pretty uneventful weekend, huh? Yeah, I mean, Nothing like not much, much going on, yeah. you know, just like got some got some jewelry. Oh yeah, it's just nice. It's just a little, that's yeah, little something, little you know, something, no big, you know, no big, nothing, nothing. Kitty, I'm gonna be your stepmom. <laughs> okay, can I go back to sleep now? <laughs> Technically, in cat years, she's kind of your grandmother. Yeah. She's our grumpy little old lady. All right. Come sit on your tower. There we go. So, congratulations. Thank you. It's pretty exciting. Gotten the whole engaged thing. Also, yeah. congratulations to Dan because he got his PhD and shit. He's all PhD and shit. He's like an official smart person. <laughs> He's got a paper that says so. Yeah. So Big exciting shit happening around here. Yeah. Um, M Miracle's big news is we had to take away her little window bed because her balance is getting bad and she keeps falling out of it. Aww. That's the most exciting thing happening in the kitty's world right now. She's pretty mad about it. She keeps going over to where she would normally hop into the window seat and just meowing. No, you'll fall the fuck down. I don't care! Pretty much, yeah. I, I don't fucking care if I'll fall down. I want my damn window bed, damn it. Gonna, we're like, honey, you're going to break a hip. I don't fucking care. Sure. God no. damn it. Kid, damn kids, you don't know what it was like back in my day. I had to hunt mice uphill both ways in the snow. D Dan and I do what? Well, what we imagine Miracle's voice would be like. And in in our imagination, Miracle has quite the dirty little mouth. You know what you should get her? Get her one of those smartphone controlled BB-8s. Ooh. That would drive her batshit insane. It might. It might. Because it's got a little camera in it and you can set it up. You don't even have to drive it. You can hit a little button that says patrol. And it will drive around and navigate obstacles. Just, and just piss her off. Yeah, it'll just roll around the apartment on its own. <laughs> Kitty, what do you think of Dan? That guy's an asshole. <laughs> He's always fucking on my ears. He does food time late. I hate that guy. He doesn't stay in bed all day like you do. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. Yeah. Fuck that guy. I'm not gonna look at your fucking camera either. You can go to hell. I'm not, your, I'm not your fucking dancing monkey, okay? She's a wonderful creature. Our miracle is. She's our grumpy little old lady. Well, I'm gonna, your, I'm gonna look everywhere but at your fucking camera. Cause that's how I roll. Well, Tara, you know, you know what time it is. Apparently, it's that doesn't go there. Time is this a whole week of not not a whole week, but but it is. We will get there. That that is the culmination of oh, our gosh. little segment tonight because uh, we're gonna we, we got our normal fucked up news and shit. But at the end, of course, we have our annual that does not go there. Just the list of things that were put where they should not. Before you roll the official credits, I do just want to say for the record, no, Dan and I will not be getting married live on RDA before anybody asks. Good. I want to have to set that shit up. But that's because somebody was going to ask. And well, no. Well, fuck. Do you know how much fucking work that is for me? Fuck that. Yeah, no, that's not that's not going to happen. Is, you pay me? No. Then fuck that. <laughs> I ain't do it. Just just the disclaimer. I don't care who wants that shit unless somebody paying me for it. I ain't doing that. You know how fucking much work it is to set up a remote broad? That is a fucking load of work. I was thinking they'd just be like, do it over Skype. Yeah. Well, they can eat a dick. Yeah. 
All right. Well, here we go. It's time for let's 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 get to it because we do have a bunch to go through this week. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible shit, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call "What the fuck is wrong with you?" And before we get to the main stories, we've got a little uh, sequel to last week. Um, you remember uh, we we started the uh, segment last week talking about a grand old Christmas tradition in Sweden, the Christmas Goat War. The Christmas Goat War. Yeah, and uh, we talked about how each year they put up this great big straw goat as tradition in Sweden, and each year someone attempts to burn it down. They don't want it burned down, it's not there to be burned down, but each year someone tries to burn it down and you know and we and we we talked about it and guess guess what the fuck happened tara guess someone burned it down someone burned the fucking goat down poor goat you'd think i mean like this is getting to be like a three little pigs type thing like maybe you build your goat out of something <laughs> well if you don't want it to get set on fire and you know what we got video maybe spray that motherfucker down with asbestos now, okay, this website's definitely not in English. No, it's hard to read. It's a Swedish website. It's hard to read the story. But we have video here. And as you can see from the video, not only did he light the goat on fire, he lit himself on fire in the process. Is that some kind of sacrificial rite? <laughs> that's, you know, that's something to tell them in the hospital. How'd you get these birds? I let a goat on fire. Burning oh. down the Christmas goat. You're that guy. You're that fucking guy. So chalk up another one. They, they actually have a tally of years the, the goat got burned down and years the goat didn't get burned down. Chalk up this year, the goat burned down. So fuck's sake. We were Which one is winning? Like, does the goat not get burned more years, or does the goat get burned more years? I think right now the goat has been burned more years than not. So it's like Swedish Devil's Night. I think <laughs> yeah. we made a joke last week. It's, it's a battle, and I don't... I can't believe we were just talking about it, and boom! The goat's on fire. Is <sighs> Nash invited to the wedding? Guys, I've been engaged for two days! I don't have a guest list yet. <laughs> For God's sake. You know what we haven't had on the show in a long time? Um. I think it's a scary question, isn't it? Yeah, that could go a lot of different directions. We uh, haven't had... With his Hot Pocket jokes? We haven't had a good monkey story. We have not had a good monkey story. We've got one from India. Now, India has long had a problem with an overabundance of monkeys. Yeah, they have feral. Did, what was there was one city in India where feral monkeys literally murdered, murdered the deputy mayor. Yes, yeah, they threw him off a balcony. Like India has a serious feral monkey problem. This is a thing. Well, and they're they murder in packs. Well, now monkey see, monkey drive. Oh. Monkey drives bus, rams it into two other vehicles. The simian menace in a city took a turn for the absurd on Monday afternoon when a monkey got inside a parked bus, switched on the engine, and took off in second gear. Wow. Driver managed to regain control, but not before the vehicle hit two other buses parked nearby. How did um, he hit the gas pedal? How big was this monkey? Uh, the driver was taking a nap in between stops. He had a half hour before his next one. While the driver reclined on the last row, a monkey appeared. I like that. This is what the, this is from the actual article. A monkey suddenly appeared. As if by magic. Climbed into the driver's ca cabin, managed to start the engine with the ignition key. It was still in the slot. Driver, waking up, rushed toward the cabin and tried to chase the animal away. However, the panicked animal accidentally shifted the gear to the second level before jumping out of the bus. Wow. <gasps> that 
that's amazing. The monkey started the bus on purpose. I was, you know, I'm just thinking that monkey was one of those. You know, I'm trying to think of that movie where it's like, okay, this is like Ratatouille. Okay. Only except a rat trying to cook. It's a monkey who always wanted to drive a bus. And he watched, watched every day. The, the big monkeys, the big monkeys with the hats and the clothes driving the bus. And it wanted to drive the bus, too. Why and would that, it be any creature's dream to drive a bus? Why would it be any creature's dream to cook in a French restaurant, Tara? It's lots of humans dream to cook in a French restaurant. I don't think a lot of humans dream about driving the city bus. Well, you're not a monkey. How often does a monkey get an opportunity to operate heavy machinery? Huh? I don't think Donald Trump drives himself around anymore. Oh. I think he has people for that. Wow. That was some low hanging fruit on that one. That was some that was some fairly low hanging fruit. That's what I do. That's... I like to I like to go for the low hanging fruit. <laughs> Particularly if it's wrinkly and orange. I mean, my God. Of all the things you have to you, there's an insurance adjuster go somewhere going. I don't know how the fuck we write this up. <laughs> you know they pro no they probably do have a code for it. Do you know <laughs> hospitals have like weirdly specific? They have numerical codes for fucking everything. Like, they the hospital probably has an official medical code for run over by bus driven by monkey. So, they probably were just like oh. Monkey, monkey carjacking again, huh? All right. That's, that's Phil. Talk to Phil. <laughs> Phil deals with the monkeys. Yeah. But that's not the only Simeon, well, technically, in a, uh, in, in some car shenanigans this week. And of course, oh, Florida, you're back with a vengeance. Uh-oh. You know... It was, of course, Back to the Future year, the year that Marty went to the future and all that. And yeah, that, that was a thing. But um, number one, you missed it by a few months. And number two, that is not how that works. That is so not how that works. Driver plows into businesses while trying to time travel. Oh. Pensacola, Florida. Three businesses are moving to new offices after a car drove through two of them. Dodge Challenger plowed through advanced tax services, taking out a wall connecting Pensacola caskets. Both offices have been closed since the crash. It looked like a bomb went off. Police say the... Do, do you know what's funny about this? Oh, please. All right. Strap yourselves in. Advanced tax services, Pensacola caskets. What are the only two things in life that are certain? Death and taxes. What was he driving? He was driving a Dodge Challenger. So he was challenging life's only certainties. I'm just saying. Holy shit, Tara. A storm of nouns. Holy shit. Maybe that's why he was time traveling, to tell Ben Franklin, dude, I fucking figured it out. Police said the driver told them he was, quote, trying to travel through time. No one was hurt, thank God. But, look. Okay. Let's just say for the sake of argument that should you get your Dodge Challenger up to 88 miles an hour, you'll go back in time. Okay. However, you know what doesn't get you up to 88 miles an hour? Going through shit? Going through fucking walls! And do you know what's sad? Like, the Dodge Challenger is a good-looking car. Uh, like, that's a waste of a sexy fucking car. Like, DeLoreans are ugly. Cool. 
drive a DeLorean through whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> a time machine is the only suitable use for an ugly ass car like that. But a Challenger is a really nice car, dude. Get an El Camino. You want to do that shit? I, I just it. Uh... This I don't was his plan simply to drive fast enough to travel through time. Like, was the car modified in any way? No, although I'm pretty sure the driver was. So he just got in the car and decided to drive through some shit. I'm I'm no, I'm pretty sure he got in the car. Had something with him, a little something, something and then decided to go back in time. I maintain that he was making a m metaphysical statement about the universe. I maintain he had, he was on drugs. I like my version better. <laughs> Tara, while you did, while that was a wonderful chain of logic you followed there, do you really think the dumbass who drove through the building was smart enough to put all that shit together? Maybe. Maybe he was a fucking genius from another time. Like, wasn't there a thing? There's like an urban legend that a, that like a bunch of years ago, some dude claiming to be from the future jumped into some Internet chat room and started telling people shit. Do you remember this? I don't remember his name. <laughs> But he was claiming to be, like, from the future and trapped in our time. Yeah, his name was Google Snopes, was his Spent name. all his time, like, in an internet chat room talking about, like, World War Three and shit. And then somebody claimed to be from the future that came through the Large Hadron Collider and told them not to turn it on. If he'd been a genius, he would have actually time traveled. You think you think experiments always work on the first try, do you? You think we made it to space in the first try? We blew up a lot of motherfucking rockets before we made it. To the and we killed some monkeys. So you're saying what we have to do is drive through a lot more strip malls before we can go back in time? You know, maybe. We have some more Florida, because of course we have some more Florida. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. Sorry. Are you actually developing an allergy to Florida? Maybe. It's, it's entirely possible at this point. Uh, I'm just happy the cat oh. could, couldn't uh -oh. hear me. She, she would have leapt. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That ear is itchy. I noticed as you're doing it, suddenly her eyes got really wide and she got look at a serious look on her face like, oh god. And then she gets thump her foot. Uh, well, we're a little more Florida this week. Lots of people sent me this story. They're like, hey, Nash, I saw this and thought of you. And I'm like, what have I done with my life? <laughs> Florida woman. Bad choices. Florida woman on meth arrested for driving cart through Walmart while eating produce, drinking wine. Well, woman was arrested for allegedly shooting up meth and then riding a motorized shopping cart through the Walmart while eating. You, you can shoot up meth. I thought you smoked meth. It, to people, it's a drug, Tara. People do all sorts of stupid shit with drugs. Right. She was eating sushi, sushi, cinnamon rolls, rotisserie chicken, and drinking wine. Oh, man, that's going to be horrible vomit. Joseline Eldia Lopez, 20, was arrested for shoplifting and drug paraphernalia charges. Walmart employee called the sheriff's office after seeing the accused shoplifter driving around the store in a motorized cart and acting suspiciously. Really? All right, but let's be honest. Doesn't that kind of sound like fun? <laughs> Doesn't that kind of sound like fun? Like getting fucked up, stealing one of the little carts at the Walmart and just walking, like just riding up and down the aisles, eating whatever comes your way. I have cat fur in my mouth i'm not sure fun is the, is is the word you're looking for there tara that kind of does sound like fun in a 90s music video kind of way 
That sounds, that's kind of sad to me. That is like, that. that is the, I could hear, I. No, if you do that at the Whole Foods, it's sad. You know, the music video this would be perfect for, Mad World. Yeah. And you think it's kind of funny. You think it's kind of sad. Just drive it around. Oh, Mad World. <laughs> eating fucking <laughs> now if I'm thinking of doing something fun with the shopping carts at the Walmart the motorized carts you know what I'm thinking of doing is broom jousting they only go like five miles an hour I know but still that's more entertaining than just cruising around drinking wine and eating know. chicken in the Walmart there's something weirdly appealing about that to me there really is. I mean, maybe that says something about me. Maybe I'm getting tacky in my old age, but that there's something weirdly appealing about that. Just a leisurely Saturday night riding around the Walmart on a on a on a handy cart. Well, we. I, ho I hope Dan's listening because you know he's probably planning the honeymoon right now. There you go. And you know you're all set. <laughs> Where do you want to go on your honeymoon? He's from Missouri. That's probably where they have weddings anyway. <laughs> we just huck it on down to the Walmart. <laughs> I'm getting the coldest. <laughs> they got like they got like a, a preacher at the Walmart, right? That does the wedding. And then you get Subway. Have the reception at the Piggly Wiggly. Yeah. I'm in big trouble. <laughs> Let's move on to our asshole category this week. Oh, God. This Okay. This is just sort of like someone pushed a button and it was like the asshole alert. Because it was a domino. It Is was that like the Staples easy button. <laughs> yes, exactly. Actually, yeah. When you see what happened in the story, it's exactly like that. Because it became what like the asshole button look like. Because that's kind of the opposite of a button. <laughs> I mean, can you have a button that's a any? It was sort of like, this story. It's sort of like a domino effect of just dickery. Just here, I'll, I'll let you see, because this is this is kind of amazing. Woman's lottery hoax causes riot at Ohio Burlington Coat Factory. Columbus, li listen to this. Columbus, Ohio, a woman being driven around in a rented limousine pulled up at a coat store, announced she'd won the lottery, would pay for everyone's purchases. <laughs> but ended up causing a riot when customers realized it was a hoax. Angry customers threw merchandise around and looted, leaving the store looking as though a hurricane passed through it, police said. Linda Brown was arrested Tuesday after an hours long shopping spree that began when she hired a stretch Hummer limousine. So it's, it's already the asshole mobile to drop her off at a Burlington coat factory. Brown walked to the cash register and loudly announced she had won the lottery and would pay for each person's merchandise up to $500. Well, of course, people like to hear that, Sergeant Lieutenant Michael Deacon said. Apparently, they were in line calling relatives who were not at the store and told them to come. People flooded the registers and cashiers began ringing up purchases after a purchase, but Brown had not yet paid the bill. At least 500 people filled the aisles and another thousand were outside trying to get in. She was telling people she had won 1.5 million. Ends up she didn't win anything. She had no money to pay it off. That's when angry customers realizing they weren't getting free coats began throwing merchandise to the floor, grabbing clothes without paying for them. Everybody was like, I still want free stuff. And that started the riot. Why would you do this? I. Why, like, 
This person rent. This was premeditated. Like she rented a limo mm -hmm. and didn't pay for the limo up, either. Bur drove up to the Burlington Coat Factory and was like, "Free shit for everybody." She stiffed the limo driver too. But why would you? Wh why? What's the motive here? Well, like, did Burlington Coat Factory wrong her somehow? And she just wanted to fuck up a Burlington Coat Factory? Well, Brown 44 was arrested on three outstanding warrants for aggravated menacing, misuse of 911, and causing false alarms. This is kind of her hobby, apparently. Just going out in the world and fucking with people. But it's not just her, because, all right, if I were in this situation and the asshole said, I'm paying for everything, wait, no, I'm not, because I can't, my response would be like, fuck you, and like, leave the coat and leave the store. Right. Kind of pissed I'd off. Pitch a, and like, I don't want to sound like a snob here, because I do shop at Burlington Coat Factory, but... There's not a lot there that's worth riding over, like. Yeah, I'm really not going to riot if I'm not getting my coat. It's like, like, it's discount goods. You know, like, it's, I mean, I, don't, I can't think of a consumer good that is worth rioting over. Like, I really can't because I'm a grown person. But I, like... I don't know. I don't understand any part of this. I don't understand no. why you throw a riot because you're not getting free shit you didn't expect to get. Meanwhile, Miracle's responding to the story the best way she can by licking her anus. <laughs> it's amazing how you decide you desperately need to lick your butt around the same time. <sighs> like, just magically, while I'm on the air, you decide you have to lick your butt. That's really interesting. So this, this, this is pretty much a culmination. This is like customer service, customer service in a nutshell. Cause yeah. the people at the Burlington Coat factory, they weren't responsible for this. They, no, they're, they didn't. they're making minimum fucking wage. They already hate their life. And you just made their lives. Yeah. Okay. And fucking customers, fuck customers. But like, I don't understand anybody here. I don't understand why you would play a prank like this. I don't understand why it's funny. And I don't understand why you would throw a riot. Like. I don't either. There I... isn't an angle of this that makes a lick of sense to me. No. No. But. In terms of getting a little customer revenge, I oh, think I think this is old. Yeah, it's old, but it's still fucked up. Okay. But in terms of getting a little customer revenge, the uh, the next story is. Uh, I think this. this I like the, customer revenge. Well, it's kind of uh, criminal. I, I, we'll, we'll get into it. We'll, we'll get into this. This is this miracles. Is, like I'll show you the asshole button. Here we go. Man pulls pistol on St. Paul sex shop clerk demands new penis pump. And I will point out this happened on Christmas Day. You told me you were going out for beer. <laughs> You told me you had a warranty on that thing and that you were going out for beer. <laughs> and Dan's over there like, shit, it's too late now, isn't it? I already came for the ring. Goddamn. Fuck. Sir. Now I'm just going to have to kill her. Fuck. St. Paul, Minnesota. Man fled a St. Paul adult sex shop Wednesday night after pointing a pistol at a clerk's head 
demanding a working penis pump. Police say he remains at large. According to the report, suspect walked into Viva Video to exchange a penis pump he had previously purchased, claiming it didn't work as advertised. The clerk argued any problems were due to operator error. The suspect then pulled a handgun and pointed at the clerk's head, demanding a replacement. He fled the scene without a new pump, claiming he'd be back. So let's break this down. Number one, first of all, he did not get his replacement, so yay for the clerk for standing their ground, even in the face of a gun. Kudos, sir. I'm sorry, sir. We have a very strict return policy. <laughs> Number two, he, while he is at large, the lineup on this one is going to be... Did you have to say at large? On the penis pump story. Well, the lineup for this story, the lineup for this is going to be like, yeah, can we put out a call for a bunch of people with small penises, please? Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to go to jail on this charge. No. Because you're going to be, your nickname once you get in the pokey is going to be Little Dick. Everyone is going to know you as Little Dick. He's a little dick forever. This is not this is not the hill you want to die on, sir. I mean, I guess I can see if you know. I mean, clearly this person was extremely sexually frustrated, <sighs> and I guess that'll make you do crazy things. Pulling a gun over a penis pump that does not work. And here's the thing, as I understand it, none of them work. No, they don't. That's not how dicks work, dude. No, it's not. Okay, JCW3 in the channel wins. I think he got shafted. <laughs> you win. You win, sir. You fucking... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> This is you making sitting here licking your butt on the internet. Probably happy ones. No, she's like grunting and cooing. You are such a weird little creature. <laughs> Cut it out. Cut it out. You're being rude. That's not ladylike. <laughs> I don't think she gives a shit. She doesn't. We we don't call her little kitty gives no fucks for nothing. Do we? No. <laughs> She can't hear you, Tara. No. She can't. You don't hear shit, do you? No, you don't. No, you don't. Well, finally, this it is time. It is time at last. This is the, the that doesn't go there culmination. Every year, there is a list compiled. Oh, yes! From the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission's database of emergency room visits. Yeah. And from that list, we have the weirdest things put in people's holes. Yep. Just in case you didn't lie awake at night wondering how humanity manages to march on. I like that the, the name of the article is What Did We Get Stuck, stuck in, in Our, our Rectums, rectums last, last Year? year. Shall, shall we go? Uh, let, let's start with the, with the innocuous stuff or the yeah. innocuous holes, anyway. Here's some things people put in their ears in I mean, 2015. Number one starts out with a why. Why? Safety Razor! What? Someone walked into an emergency room. Okay, M. Cipher, uh, Greg has dubbed this the rectal spective. <laughs> well done. Someone walked into an emergency room with a safety razor in their ear. Nothing involving the word razor should ever be inside any part of your person. Let's see. Uh... <laughs> Quote, was doing a magic trick and stuck a toy football in here. Toy eyeball. Toy eyeball. Okay, yeah. Uh, 
patient claims someone hit a piece of crayon in his ear today in school. Um, let's see. Gasoline! I like this one. Patient states roach was in ear, stabbed it with pin, sustained perforation uh, of tympanic membrane. No! Ow! Because obviously, if a bug crawls in your ear, which is a nightmarish situation on its own, the thing you should do is fucking stab it with a pin. You should impale it. Twelve-year-old male states that last evening he stuck a plastic baby into his ear, quote, just because. That is a twelve-year-old boy in a nutshell right there. Why'd you do that? Just because. I don't know. I wanted to see if I could. And this one... Piece of a Bluetooth earpiece. That's just douchebag karma is what that is. Let's move on to the nose. It does get worse as we go along, everybody. Um, doll's shoe. <laughs> Was attempting to do a magic trick. Suck a penny on nostril. You gotta wonder if that's the same person. <laughs> Dude, like, you're not I good at if like this dude just shows up at the fucking ER every week and they're like Steve, Magic Steve, was this you? <laughs> Is this you, dude? Steve's been trying to do magic again. Steve. Was this you? Peanut. That's not it's molding clay. Chapstick. All right, when you say chapstick, I'm trying to think. Was it like a piece of the stick, the actual chapstick or the whole stick? Thing. Or was there a chapstick container up your nose? In, well, they got the chapstick out just fine, but the cap. In which case, well done, sir. Yeah. That's impressive. Those are some really fucking chapped lips you got. And this, this one, strawberry smelling sticker. It smelled so good. <laughs> I have to snort it. Let's move along to the throat. Broom. Broom. <laughs> that reeks of desperate for attention girl at a party. <laughs> Look what I can do. Lighter. Oh. Quote, a metal decoration from her pants? <laughs> Quote. It looks cool when they like undo the chick's pants in porn with their teeth. Don't attempt that at home. Those are trained professionals. <laughs> do you know that little packet of silica that comes in everything that says do not do eat? Do not eat. Quote, was eating beef jerky when he opened the package of silica and sprinkled it on the beef jerk. That's not seasoning. That's exactly the opposite of what you're supposed to do with that thing. Yeah, it says do not eat. Those are very short words. Quote, patient was dancing around the house when patient swallowed a quarter. Like you do. Swallowed a quarter while brushing teeth. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if there's a new way of brushing your teeth since we were kids. Like, maybe this is a Demolition Man three shells type situation. This, this, there's no explanation for this. It's just one three letter word. Wig. Wig. The How? How? Ha <laughs> Oh, toilet paper holder. Two AA batteries locks with keys. That's all one thing. It's that's all one entry. That's not two separate. Two batteries and two locks with keys. And this is the one. Bullet. Fucking bullet. All right, now we move on to the the more special holes. 
Gentlemen, you're up first. Penis. Now, inside, not wrapped around. Half a pencil. Half a pencil. <laughs> you know the old joke, what's worse than biting into an apple and finding a worm? Half a worm. Yeah. What's worse? What's worse than biting into a penis and finding a pencil? <laughs> <laughs> Half a pencil. <laughs> marble? Some dude got a marble up his dick and then could not get it out. That is one of those moments. Okay, here's here's the sequence of emotions. Curiosity? Pride? Fear, <laughs> panic. The next one on the list, I feel like maybe somebody didn't have good sex ed and got their girlfriend pregnant. Coat hanger. Coat hanger. Mm -mm. And then you wonder, like, how much of it? Mm -mm. Like, did they? Mm -mm. Bend it or Oh no no mm -mm. No No mm -mm. <laughs> Quote put plastic straw in his penis while he was high on crystal meth. Okay, I understand that one. That I mean, makes sense. I mean who hasn't done that? Screw drunk gotten high on crystal meth and shoved a drinking straw up their dick. Screwdriver? Right now. <laughs> He's smoking meth with one hand and shoving a straw up his dick with the other. Dan, you already gave her the ring, dude. You already gave her the fucking <laughs> ring. You, there's nothing you can do. Gave her the ring. Screwdriver? <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> I know where that's been. <laughs> and the last one on the penis list, magnets. Okay. Maybe you were trying to use it to open your fridge. <laughs> okay, ladies, it's your turn. Ladies are up. Makeup brush. Well, already you do You failed. You've already failed. Right there. Cell phone. But that would be really specific porn. <laughs> if you were watching a chick put makeup on another chick with a makeup brush jammed up her vagina. <laughs> Like, I feel like there's a niche for that. Like, we're going to do the most unique pornographic contouring video ever. The next cell phone. Cell phone. Hotline bling don't work that way. No. Husband's penis ring. I mean, that kind of makes sense. You know exactly how that got there. You need to have the proper size, gentlemen. Don't overestimate, be honest. Perfume bottle. That makes me wonder, are you spraying perfume up your vagina? Don't do that. That's Don't bad do for you. Don't do that. Wow, I have an extreme close up right now. Golf ball, quote, wanted to do pelvic floor exercises. Um. Okay. Golf ball. Aw, a jingle bell. How festive. <laughs> so you can go jingle, 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 jingle. Piece of plastic reindeer. We don't know if this is the same lady or not. 
I'd like to think it is. And this is the one. The bad magician. This is the one that I'm pretty sure there was an adventure involved. Snorkel. Oh. That's not how that works. No. Just tell him to breathe through his nose. <laughs> well, everybody, we've reached the, we've reached the pinnacle. Yes. Rectum. Tam near kills him. This is fun for the whole family. <laughs> Quote. Thinks he has toothbrush case in rectum. Doesn't know how because he was drunk. <laughs> Quote, thought someone was after him, so he put plastic bag pill bottles up rectum. Okay. If the cocaine makes you so paranoid, you shove it shit up your butt. Stop. You need help. Yeah. Handle of toilet plunger. Oh. And toilet brush. That's not how that works. <laughs> Are you trying to clean it and use it at the same time, the toilet? Like... Tara, the next one. Oh my God, I can't even bring myself to read it. Oh my god! Oh my god! A year old male watching a video involving aliens rectal probing people at home decided to try it, put plastic toy screw in rectum. Oh my god! This is why you don't let your kids watch South Park. Oh my god! That's the moment you're driving up to the hospital, you look over at your spouse and you go, Honey, I think we have an idiot. I think he's an imbecile. No, he's seven. And he's an idiot. You just said, not two lines earlier, there was like a 12-year-old kid who shoved something up his nose just cuz. <laughs> the nose is one thing! Little kids do dumb shit. Your nose! Didn't you turn one of your He-Man water shooting toys into a fucking flamethrower? And I did not put it up my butt! Little boys do dumb shit. <laughs> Let's see. Salt shaker? I like the next two. Small toy? Large, large toy. toy. What type of toy? <laughs> Small and large. Plastic squeaky toy. I don't have I, no idea what. I don't know what a squinky toy is. Oh, here we go. <laughs> go ahead. Go well, ahead. Constipation, dildo stuck in rectum. You put it too far up your butt. Yes, that would constipate you. That's too far. Again, screwdriver. Yeah, we're just shoving screwdrivers everywhere, apparently. Bathtub drain plug, look. Just because it has the word plug in the name, doesn't mean butt is implied. Also, if you're having problems, try some milk of Mylanta, maybe some Pepto-Bismol. You're not going to stop it that way. I'm sorry. That's not how that works. No. <laughs> the quote. Entertain. Oh my God, I can't even read it. <laughs> Entertaining guests by inserting the wooden leg of a chair into his rectum. That's my plan for New Year's Eve. <laughs> You're gonna have to think of something else. It's been done. <laughs> You're gonna have to call on the warranty on that penis pump. <laughs> and work on your straw trick. <laughs> That's entertainment? That's your party entertainment? Hey everybody, let's come on over on Saturday night and we'll watch some movies. We'll have a few drinks, and I'll put a chair leg up my butt. Look, it's not easy being the log lady's kid. <laughs> it's not a lot to do in Twin Peaks. It's a weird town. You literally <laughs> live in a David Lynch movie. It's weird. Quote, 
has two golf balls up rectum and wants to have them removed. Yeah, I think so. Last week they were okay. Today they're yeah. getting kind of annoying. Flashlight aerosol can. Wait. That's not, that's what? That's two items. <laughs> like a flashlight and an aerosol can? Yeah. Or is there now a such thing as a aerosol flashlight? Shampoo bottle. Can of hair mousse. Oh. And my first thinking on this is which end was inserted? Yeah, because that matters. Ooh, um, homemade dildo. That's not a craft that you should undertake at home. Homemade dildo. Leave that to the professionals. How was this homemade? Was this 3D printed? Oh, was... no, they do make a kit where you can make a replica of your own dick. You can make a, like, take a cast and, yeah, you can buy it at, like, adult shops. Where what do can... they call it? Go fuck yourself? No, but they should. But you can, it, it comes with, like, casting medium, and you get, you get yourself at attention, and you stick it in there and maintain for as long as you can, and then the casting medium hardens, and then you fill it with the silicone, and you have a really special Valentine's Day get, gift, I guess. Something to remember me by. Exactly. Let's see. Toy Shark. And I can only imagine that in the emergency room, the doctors were having to restrain themselves from going, da 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 Feces are friends, not food. Wow. <laughs> this is amazing. Read the, you take it. I can't read it without laughing. I can't was at a fisting party and has a spiky rubber ball that lights up stuck in rectum. Were you the disco ball? It lights up to, all right, have you ever- Did they just hang you from the ceiling and spin you around and literally let the light shine out of your ass? <laughs> have you ever taken a flashlight to your hand and noticed you can see the light through your hand? Yep. I used to do that as a kid. I was like, oh, this is neat, my skin's trying. Okay. Now imagine you have a glowing light up ball up your butt. So your ass kind of looks like E.T.'s chest. <laughs> Phone nine one. <laughs> no, if it's big enough for the fist, okay. Jazzy the man, let me let me explain <laughs> that I know not from personal experience. That's for the record, if it's big enough for a fist, how is it not big enough for the ball? It's not about big enough. It's about the fact that the fist has something attached to it that you can use to remove said fist. The ball does not. Once the ball's in. It's in. There's no handy attached arm to pull it out. And the last one tonight, bafflingly with no explanation, very simply, three little letters, egg. How, how do you not break it? Even just getting it in there, how do you not break it? That, that does take some talent. Yeah. Was, was someone thinking, I really want to be a chicken? I'm sure that's a fetish. Uh, uh, uh. Actually, Craig, Craig Ferguson did a whole, did a uh, Netflix comedy special, and he talked about how one of his weird L.A. neighbors routinely will put, like, a, a hen's egg up her vagina for a few days to absorb negative energy. It's like some weird new agey bullshit. And she walks around like that for a few days. I don't know if that's true or if you just made it up for the routine. What does she do with the egg? 
I don't know. I imagine throws it out because you don't want to eat all that negative energy then. You just got rid of it. Oh, well. <clears throat> that was our things human actual beings put in their holes. Inside their person. None of those things belong shoved inside your person. Maybe it was a hard-boiled egg. That is a good point. Uh... Well, Tara, we've, we've run way over time. We have. But... It's tired. That was worth it, I think. I Holy think so, too. shit. <sighs> Why do we think so? What's wrong with us? We've been doing this a long time. It's affected us. We used to be really nice people. 